All right, if I want to take these two graphs, these three graphs give you this, same as this picture, but we're revolving it around the x-axis here. So if I'm spinning this around the x-axis, can you tell my cross sections, or my, these are going to be making disks, these are the radius of my disk. Can you tell this is going to be like a top? Yeah. If you spin this and it's solid. So if it's solid, aren't we doing disk method? Washers always hollow, hint the washers are hollow, <laughs> and disks are solid. Now, what you're going to do here, your interval, well, simply, if you look at it, it's from 0 to 2, because we're going along the x-axis, 0 to 2. And we always put a pi in front. And we're going to square, we just got to have the function, it's dx, because we're going across this way. We just need the height. Well, isn't the height just simply this equation right here, which is 2x squared? It's simply going to be 2x squared. Okay, that's all it is. This gives you the radius. You square it times pi gives you the circle. The integral adds up all those circles. Now, could you technically put the pi inside? Yes, but we tend to put it outside just so it saves on integrating. It's a constant. It's always going to be in front. <coughs> So we don't always write it. So if we wanted to finish this one off, it would be from 0 to 2. If you square this, it's going to be 4x to the fourth. And then you got a pi. And then when you integrate this, you get 4 fifths x to the fifth, 0 to 2. And won't that be kind of some big numbers? Yeah, you put that in, that's going to be kind of a bigger number. And can you break that down and finish it? That's the basic process, though.